I hear you. You've made a plan and you want to get into running, but you're not sure where to start. I've got Chelsea Cox here. She's a Nike Run coach and the principal instructor here at Barry Camp. Yeah, how are you? I'm great. How are you? Thanks for getting us into this because I know a lot of moms are thinking, I am going to go zero to hero. I'm going to be this great runner. But we need to take specific steps first. So what is tip number one for us? The tip number one is start slow. Okay. So you want to make sure, like we're doing right now. You can walk with the walk. Yeah. Definitely start with walking. That's actually my tip number two as well. So, so we're on three right now. Yeah. <laughs> with us. Or you know, we're on three and four. Yeah. And you said we don't need to be worried about walking if we have to when we're actually running too, right? Exactly. Yeah. Don't worry about having to stop having to walk when you need to. It is a great supplemental tool in your running to help compress your mileage and your speed. Yeah, a lot of times I'll have girlfriends say they're getting into running and they'll go, I'm going to run one mile every day for a week and then two miles every day the second week. And then, but that's actually kind of a crash and burn mentality, isn't it? Definitely. And you can always risk injuring yourself, jumping too much up in mileage. So I tell people, you know, add a few minutes of climbing on your runs each week. So if you started out your first long run, four miles. Don't just double it and go eight miles to the next Yes. Step. You know, maybe just add on a few more minutes and then maybe an extra mile uh -huh. and go from there. Okay, I'm going to put my hair up because we're actually going to do a little bit of running. And uh, as good as these curls look and as long as it took me to do them, <laughs> not the most efficient thing. Okay, so what number should we go up to for our run? Let's hit a half. So let's go up to 4.5. Okay, we're at 4.5. And okay. we'll start a little walk, like jog, okay, and I'll give it to you my next tip, and with this, so listen to your body to you. Now, if you're at the beginning of a run, and you notice that your heart rate is automatically up super high, you're breathing heavy, maybe that's a cue for you to slow down, to stop, to readjust, and then get back into it. Totally, and for pre and post state in particular, anybody really, if you notice pain or pressure or incontinence or anything like that, it's not something a lot of people like to talk about. But it's very common, and that's another sign your body wants you to regress. Exactly. And just listen to your body the whole time. That's always going to help you prevent injury. A lot of people, they say, oh man, I hurt myself during this run. And I'm like, well, when you felt that pain, did you stop? They're like, no, no, I don't know. I know, we can be very <laughs> stubborn as runners. Can't we get into repetitive housing? So, yeah. Got to think of that. Okay, what's your next tip? So my next tip would be to recover. So after your run is done, make sure that you're recovering properly and stretching, getting into the nutrition, getting in plenty of hydration, some water. I think if it's kind of sweet, your body needs all of that. That's that. Yeah. Totally <laughs> <laughs> good enough. But, um, and you say nutrition. What kind of nutrition? Is very specific So we have awesome protein shakes outside um, for after class. That's always a good start. I tell people even if you don't like protein shakes, then you get a good mixture of like fast parts and protein. So maybe like tuna and crackers, something like that. You know? Yeah, carbs are okay. Carbs are not the devil, carbs right? Are not the devil, for <laughs> sure. Right. Should we pick, pick up the pace and spray it on the way? Yeah, home? let's hit a little seven. Seven. How we feel there? And then the last one is to build slowly. Build slowly. Now that means in our actual workout, in our actual run, slowly. Yeah. Um, but same with speed over time. So, and, yeah, so just making sure that each point you hit is a slow progression, not a good progression from the last. So if your goal was to hit an 8.0 in class, and then like next time, the posture goes to hit a 12.0. You know, maybe just pick that 9.0 first. Very good. Oh, Chelsea Cox, thank you so much. She is the Nike running coach, very personal instructor. Honored to be here. If you enjoyed this episode of Your Day with Uniform, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to that notification bell so you can find out what our next video is about. Let's raise the end. Here we go. Go, 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 go